Hey guys, welcome to Windows Better. And today in this video, I'm going to show how to dual boot Ubuntu with pre-installed Windows 11. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And now let's begin. Dual booting means installing two operating systems on your computer, so you can choose which one to use each time you start it up. Windows for its broad software compatibility and gaming. Ubuntu for its open source flexibility, development tools, and lightweight performance. To set up a dual boot with Ubuntu and Windows 11 on your PC, you will need a computer with Windows 11 installed, ensuring it runs smoothly. If you don't have Windows 11 or want to install it on an unsupported PC, follow the guide from iButton. A USB drive of at least 8GB is needed for creating a bootable Ubuntu installer. Ubuntu ISO file and Rufus to prepare the bootable USB. Additionally, you should have at least 25 gigabytes of free disk space for the Ubuntu installation. Before you start, make sure to back up your data. Since dual booting requires partitioning your drive, it's crucial to save important files to prevent any data loss. Now, download the latest available version of Ubuntu ISO and Rufus. All the download links will be under the video description. After the files are downloaded, open Rufus and plug in your USB. Rufus will automatically detect your USB drive. Reminder, any content on the USB flash drive will be deleted. The USB device will be formatted and the Ubuntu installation files will be placed on the USB flash drive. Load the Ubuntu ISO by just dragging the downloaded Ubuntu ISO to the Rufus window. Choose the partition scheme as MBR for broader compatibility with both BIOS and UEFI systems, or switch to GPT if you're targeting UEFI-only systems. Set the target system to match your partition scheme, BIOS or UEFI, and click on Start and proceed with all the prompts. In a while, Ubuntu bootable USB will be created. After the ready message is displayed, click Close to exit Rufus. After creating the USB drive, you'll need to boot from it on a target computer. Insert the USB drive into the target computer where you want to dual boot. Restart or power on the computer and boot to the boot menu. When at the boot menu, boot using USB, followed by the USB HDD for legacy systems or UEFI prefix for UEFI systems. Alternatively, enter BIOS or UEFI settings Set the USB drive as the first boot device and save changes. Or, you can also use boot override function within the BIOS or UEFI setup. When the Grub Live menu appears, choose Try or Install Ubuntu to begin. The first boot may take a few minutes. After the Ubuntu installer boots, continue with the installer according to your preference. When you reach at the How do you want to install Ubuntu? Make sure you select Install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager option. This will preserve the Windows bootloader and the Ubuntu installer will configure Grub automatically. This will allow both of the operating systems to receive future updates without any hassle. This option will split the empty space on your existing Windows 11 disk and set everything up automatically. 
Ensure you select the correct partition with Windows Boot Manager if multiple disks are installed. Additionally, you can set the size for your Ubuntu workspace by adjusting the slider or entering the amount of space you wish to allocate for Ubuntu. After allocating the space, click on Next and continue with the account creation and proceed with the installer. Now, carefully review your choices, and then click on Install. This process may take 10 to 30 minutes, depending on your USB drive's speed and your computer's performance. When the installation is complete, click on Restart Now. When you get this message, take out the USB and press Enter. After restarting, you'll see the Grub menu with Ubuntu and Windows Boot Manager entries listed. Use the arrow keys to choose one of the options between Windows or Ubuntu. If you don't see Windows Boot Manager, don't worry, it'll be fixed. First, boot to Ubuntu. After booting, enter password to begin with. Now, after getting to the Ubuntu desktop, you should update it before you begin using it. Updating Ubuntu is like giving your system a quick refresh to keep it running smoothly with the latest fixes and features. To update your Ubuntu, open Terminal and then execute the commands one by one. When you're asked for the password, provide it. After the update packages are fetched, execute another command to upgrade. When you're asked to continue, press the Y key and then press Enter to proceed. In a while, the process will be done. After the process is finished, you're good to go. Before booting to Ubuntu, if you had missing Windows Boot Manager entry in the Grub menu, execute the following command to update Grub and fix it. Now everything is done. Restart your PC 
And now, you'll have Windows Boot Manager entry listed in the Grub menu alongside Ubuntu. While starting or restarting your PC, you can choose to boot either operating system using Grub. Additionally, you can set the boot order in the BIOS or boot through the boot menu. Now I'll just boot to both the OS one by one and we'll show you the hardware and OS specs. And here you can see the hardware and software info in Ubuntu. Let me boot to Windows 11 as well. And here you can see the device and Windows specification. So everything is done. Dual boot has been successfully configured on the PC and both operating systems work as expected. You can switch to either of the OS you want during startup or when restarting the computer. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great time ahead.